everyone. Happy Tuesday. Thank you for joining me here tonight. My name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make lovely and quirky hand embroidery kits. And I am here every weeknight at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. And it's a time where we can relax and craft together for about an hour. And I work on a whole pile of different projects from embroidery to quilting. And tonight, we are starting a new project here. So we are starting the Lil Felt Village by Betts White. So this is a, another designer that I'm uh, I'm working on her project. So she has a, uh, a little Felt Village make-along and it is a 12-month make-along and we are working on her newest release, which is the Spooky Clock Tower. So I sent out an email about that this morning and if you follow Betts White, uh, you'll see it there as well. I'll show you a picture of it when we when we turn around here. But I have all my supplies purchased and we are gonna do the prep for it. So we are gonna cut the pieces for the Peltex, which is the little stabilizer, and uh, the felt. And we're gonna choose what felt we're gonna use as well. Uh, and we're gonna use some freezer paper as well for, for that. So the stitching instructions and everything are gonna come later if you're part of the make-along. There is a link to join the make-along. Uh, for the make-along, it's like, it's 12 uh, little houses and they're kind of like those ceramic houses that people have at the holiday time and that sort of thing. They are so adorable. So take a look at that uh, by clicking the link below. And if you'd like to join, we are stitching the spooky clock tower up. So this, uh, this will only take a couple days and it's going to be spread out over time. So we will work on this tonight and see how far we get. Uh, and then we'll probably jump back to the splendid sampler project later this week because I think we'll get this done pretty quickly uh, and then we'll wait till the next part is released the stitching so awesome you guys I'm gonna flip you around and I'll show you what I got from Joann's uh, and uh, we'll get started on this thanks for coming in again you guys all right I got a pile of stuff so first off let me show you the project and this is again only a portion of the project um, so I'm on I'm on Betts's Instagram here so it, this is it's by Betts White so you follow her on Instagram it's Betts underscore white and here is the spooky clock tower it has little glowing lights and everything too uh, Joe I will probably only be doing this one right now however there were some really cute ones of the houses. So not all, uh, not all of them are released yet. So she's releasing them by season. So spring and summer have already be, already been released. And now we're starting the autumn stitch long. So they'll still be winter. But there are a couple really cute ones that are already released. So uh, we may do uh, we may do another one. <laughs> Just because they're so dang cute. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys what I got from Joann's. Uh, just to show you that you can actually get all these items from Joann's. Uh, Betts does have a kit of all the supplies for the autumn collection, so you can get everything all at once. Um, but I thought I'd try and see if I could find it at Joann's. So, uh, uh, first of all, the felt. Uh, you can tell that this is not just your normal felt from, from that rack, like that pre-cut stuff. That's, that's eco felt. Uh, what we want is a wool blend felt. And, uh, um, you know, it's a little thicker. It's a little more substantial. It feels grown up is what it feels like. Um, and I would ask for this. So I would ask the person, uh, someone who works there, where the wool blend felt is. It should be on the bolt. Don't let them walk you over to the wall of felt with the little cutout pieces like the little like, you know, eight and a half by 11 or whatever cutout pieces. That's not what you're looking for. You're looking for the wool blend felt. So I have some of that. Uh, they didn't have that purple. Um, uh, so I got this kind of burgundy because I thought it was really pretty and kind of that it, it felt like fall to me. So mine's going to be like maybe less spooky and more of like a just an overall pretty fall. This could actually work for the holidays for like Christmas too, I think. Um, and then uh, instead of brown, I got this gold, but I, I, I kind of like the gold. So 
the first question is, do we do like a pretty burgundy uh, clock tower or do we do like this yellow gold clock tower? <laughs> and actually now that I'm laying out, so these will be the main colors. Um, and then the other piece will just be a little bit of a, it will be like a door. And now that I'm looking at this, I think I'm going to go with the burgundy. I think the burgundy is just kind of pretty and subdued. And then this yellow would be the door. That's pretty cute, right? Here, let me show you the picture picture again. Yes, Gretchen. So um, I, I mentioned that if you guys missed my email today, I did kind of give you the lowdown of what to get from Joann's. Um, oh, here, let me try and get on Instagram again. I'm going to, I'm going to find uh, that Betz's picture again here. Hold on a second. Uh, yeah. So if you did uh, check my email, I, I went through um, a bit of it. So actually I'm just looking at her. So here we are here. I'm looking at her Instagram and she has the felt village on the top. So I'll, I'll look, um, up a little bit, but I think this burgundy instead of that purple, I couldn't find purple there. Um, so there's not as big of a selection in the wool blend felt, but there are still some pretty things there. I think I'm going to go with this. I, I kind of like that darkish color and yeah, the yellow door. Are you like the yellow door, Gus? Yeah, I think that's going to be, I think that's pretty cute. All right. But just, just to show you guys, it looks like here's, she's got in her stories, some of the felt village. So let's see what she has here. I haven't looked at this yet. Oh gosh. And it's just loading. There we go. Oh, see, so look, so there's some just super, super cute, um, oops, cute little houses. So this is what this whole, uh, project is. It's just making, oh my God, look at that bird bath there. It's just these adorable, adorable houses. She shows some inspiration on where she got the houses. So this is all the spring. Adorable, adorable. So, and then it moves on to summer. Oops. And we're, we're obvi obviously headed into fall with these colors, but these are just some of the ones that are already released. Oh, that's adorable. Um, oh, this is someone, someone else made these, I think. All right. So that's, see that I would love to make that little ice cream village. Got a little ice. Oh, look, there's a little counter for the ice cream. Funny. Anyway, so here are, these are some of the ones that are already released. Uh, oh gosh, that's cute. Uh, so that, I think this is one of the late summer ones. You're obsessed with the lighthouse one. I know that's pretty adorable. So this clock tower one, it, I feel is a little bit like that. So here's her inspiration for fall. And look, this one was released. Isn't that just sweet? Look at it. It's a little schoolhouse with ivy growing on it. Oh my God. And a little, uh, bell tower. <laughs> All right. And now we're on to the second one of fall, which is the spooky clock tower. So those are all the things that you can make in this club. And again, I threw a link up here if you wanted to join yet. So it's a 12 month deal and, uh, all those have been released. So you can actually make all those. Um, and, uh, then, uh, you can have, um, you can still make like the fall and winter ones yet. Those have not been released. So Paula, yes. When you buy off the bolt, I am buying way more fabric than I need most likely, but I figure it's kind of pretty. Uh, that's the, that's the only thing, you know, I have all of this. So if you have, uh, if you have a place where you can get wool blend felt where you don't need this much, then, then go for it. I figured meh, we'll use it for something. I can use it in one of the other houses. Um, Valerie, if I join today, do I get the ones already released or will there be others going forward? You will get all of the ones already released and then you'll get the next ones as they come out. So the next, the fall and winter ones haven't come out yet, all of them. Um, so anyway, and you don't need this much either. The, the measurements and all that are in the instructions. Um, I got, I got more than I needed of the yellow just because I wasn't sure if I was going to do, um, yeah, mug rugs. Exactly. That's a great idea, Gus. I wasn't sure if I was going to do a yellow one or a, or a burgundy one, but now that I'm laying it out, I think I'm definitely going to do a burgundy one. Yeah. The nice thing about felt is that it's, you can use it for so many things because 
it doesn't, it's raw edge is, is like a nice finished edge. It's not going to ravel. So there's a lot of opportunity to make things with, with felt. So I wasn't, I wasn't too um, scared that I wasn't going to ever use it. So anyway, so I got, so you need some black floss. And then I think you need floss to match your clock tower. I, I wasn't positive on that, but so I got some and then I got yellow just because I wasn't, I wasn't sure if I was going to do the yellow or the burgundy again. So I probably actually don't need this. It's a really pretty kind of golden, golden yellow. Um, anyway, so that's the felt. Again, the main thing you want to know is get the wool blend felt. Uh, and I guess a hundred percent wool felt is a little too thick, uh, Beth said. So it's the wool blend. Um, not the eco felt that you find on that wall, the wall of felt. All right, here's the other kind of big thing. Um, this is, we'll be working with this today um, as well. So this I actually had to go back to the store and get because I messed it up the first time. This is Peltex is what it's called. It is where all the interfacings are. And if you ask someone, they should be able to get it. It is written on... It is written on the side of the bolt, but just so you know, you can probably just figure out what it is uh, just from, from the de this description. So it's kind of light felt. It's almost the same thickness of felt that you can kind of tell the thickness. And it almost feels like felt, but it's really rather stiff. Like you don't really want to bend it. It'll, it'll crease. Uh, and one side has the glue tabs. I don't know if you can tell. One side's kind of a little bit soft like felt, and one side is got the glue taps. So it's a, it's a thick, firm, one-sided fusible. So it does feel like felt, um, though it's, it's the thickness of felt. So it's not like a paper. It's a, it's feels like a felt. So this is what's going to support our piece. Oh, you have this for bag making. Yeah. I'm guessing that's like its main use. Gretchen is, is for a uh, bag ma making. Terry, oh, be safe. Terry, we, I think, are in a, a tornado watch, too, just kind of all of a sudden, which is kind of crazy. All right, I got some tacky glue. We'll use that later. Um, I think it was recommended to get the bigger one, but since I'm only doing this one right now, I, I was, I'm hoping that this tiny bottle of tacky glue, I thought they were just so cute. Um, oh, that's fine. Uh, we got some vellum for the windows. This is pretty cute. Again, I'm, I'm already creasing this and I'm trying not to, but um, this will be for all the cute little windows. This is in the scrapbooking supplies area. So like the wall of loose papers, you gotta find it somewhere in there. And this was extra hard. The, the person wouldn't help me very much. She's like, oh, it's somewhere on this wall. And I'm like, thanks. And it was actually being covered up by another piece of paper because someone put the piece of paper in the wrong spot back, but I finally did find uh, vellum windows. I almost had to get polka dot vellum, uh, but then I did find the normal vellum, <laughs> even though polka dots would have been kind of cute. Uh, and then in the candle section, they just have all this stuff there. Um, these little tea lights. So I think I only need like two of them, but they're pretty cute. And they already come with the batteries. I probably have to take out the little plastic thing here. Oh, maybe that was all. There we go. <laughs> all right, so little little votives. Oh, look, they even flicker for, for silly. All right, so that's, I think I need two of those, but those are used, these are used like throughout the project. So I figured you know, it was the cheapest to get get this um, thing of, of eight and the batteries are included already. And I figured I'd use them if I do some more um, of these of these little houses later. And then I do have freezer paper. Uh, I didn't buy this at Joann's. I, I had it and you don't need it, but I think it's going to be helpful for transferring our design onto the felt. And, and that is uh, one of the things we're going to do today. So I'm, I'm going to start out now. I want to get, uh, get these on. Let's see how this goes. Scooch this stuff out of the way. So, um, I printed out the instructions. Uh, and we need to cut Peltex out here, but we also need to cut out the felt. And, uh, um, I think, I think I might cut the felt out first because what I'm going to do for the felt is, 
make the uh, um, freezer paper templates. So I'm going to trace these shapes to cut out the felt. Um, and I don't want to, I don't want to put, I don't want to use the freezer paper on it here because if I fuse the, the, the freezer paper to the Peltex, the Peltex glue side is going to glue down. So I, I don't want to do that. So I, I think I'm going to trace these for the felt and then I think I'm just going to cut these out. Um, and use these as uh, my Peltex, just, I'm going to just trace these on, like, trace around the outside for the Peltex. But since I already, I only printed one copy of these out, I'm going to do my freezer paper tracing first. So I have a list of all the bits I need to trace. Let's just start with a little piece here. Okay. And uh, we will get this on to the felt. Okay, so let's see. I have my list of all the felt things. So uh, the purple is the tower and the clock house. So let me find that. So here's the clock house and the tower. Okay, let's start there. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go one at a time here. And you know what? I think I might actually trace all the details on right away to um, at least like the circles. I'm not going to trace like these stitch lines, but I think that's going to help. So we are just, all we're doing is preparing the felt and the Peltex today. Oh my gosh, I can't draw a straight line. Um, and that will be Day, and actually we'll probably be working on this a little bit tomorrow as well. So I don't need this tab for the felt, so I'm just going to not trace that. I'm trying to trace this well. Once we cut it out after it's fused, then we got to go really straight. And I'm going to mark these lines. So we're actually going to score the Peltex on those lines once we get to that. So I am not sure I've used Peltex before. So I know it is used a lot in bag making because you can fuse it onto fabric and then it'll make like, you know, thick fabric that's sturdy enough for a bag. So that's kind of cool. All right, so I'm not actually going to put these things on the felt right now, these shapes, but we can reuse these um, freezer paper templates later. So um, I can use them then. I'm guessing this is just for placement. I hope so, since I obviously can't draw straight. So I, I went to the YMCA today and uh, um, did some arm stuff. So I'm wondering if that's why I'm so shaky. My arms are tired. I'm trying to trying to work out more. <laughs> trying to. I'm actually not. It's not even that. I'm trying to form a habit. Um, I have done. I have done wool applique, but I don't. I haven't done it often and it's been a little while, but yes, I have done wool applique. I have this little kitty pillow that I made um, and it's just so fun. And if you guys have not um, embroidered on the felt before, it is so easy and fun. It, it just really is nice. Okay, I'm going to just, I'm going to label this. I'm going to put an arrow so I know which way is up and I'm going to call this clock house. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing with this tower here. And then we'll trim these, and I'm going to put it right onto my burgundy, my burgundy uh, felt right away. So I'm just doing it um, a little bit at, the t at a time. Oh, you love Sue Spargo's felt and, and embroidery. Yes, so she is the queen of felt and embroidery for sure. And just all those fun decorative stitches that you can do. The really nice thing about 
felt and embroidery, well, first of all, the texture of the felt and with these bright embroidery stitches on top is just so adorable. Um, but you get the extra benefit that you don't see any of the stitching in the back and you don't need a hoop because your, your fabric is sturdy enough. It really is nice. The only trick to it is transferring, transferring a design. Um, I'm curious to see once we get to the stitching part of this class, I'm curious to see how Betts uh, suggests we do transferring a design. So um, that'll be interesting. I've used like a tear away fusible where I've I've um, traced a design onto just a, something like this that I can tear away. And that's fine, but it's a little annoying. And I, I've used um, Fabricelli before as well, but then you have to get your whole piece wet, which isn't, isn't fun. So I'm curious. I haven't done a lot of design transferring onto felt. I suppose for this particular one, it doesn't seem like there's that many um, intricate designs, but on the roof of this, there's kind of an interesting um, stitching design. Oops, almost to do the center area. So in the instructions, uh, we are not cutting out these, these uh, windows yet, but again, I'm just um, prepping them because I can reuse these pieces. Okay, uh, I got my paper scissors here. My, uh, my iron's heating up. I'm gonna do the method where I trim a little bit away from, from the edge here and then I will cut right on the edge once I'm on uh, the felt, once it's fused to the felt. Okay, so that's the tower. Lisa, isn't that the truth? And I freaking love that. So Lisa is saying in this day and age, you can learn how to do anything you want. And what? A cool thing is that, you know? <laughs> I, I, it really is neat. You really can learn anything and it's a good time to, to be alive, I think, as far as that goes for sure. All right, there we go. Let's fuse these two our felt. So I'm not too concerned with right side and wrong sides because felt does not really have a right or a wrong side. Um, it's the same on both. And these are kind of the same on either side. So I don't know, we're just gonna pick a side and fuse. So, all right, let's, let's see if I can... Oh, I'm a little scared to I'm a little scared to uh, put my iron on this, actually, now that I think about it. Maybe I shouldn't be on high. Let's, let's see. Well, it looks fine and my iron didn't stick to it, so that's, that's promising. Um, do not use your iron on, a, um, on an eco felt. It will melt to your it will melt to your iron. <laughs> so I'm gonna just get right to the edge here. So with freezer paper, it temporarily fuses. Ask me how I know. <laughs> uh, so I did fuse, um, I did get gook all over my iron from fusing it. Um, I'm gonna cut 
this out first. Scissors, here you are. So I'm going to just uh, just quickly just trim this straight edge. I'm going to cut as straight as I can. This is going to be the actual edge. So I want it to be as good as I can. I suppose I could have rotary cut it, but I'm going to try and just cut it by hand. All right, then this piece just comes off. All right, and I'm just going to rotate this. And let's hit this edge as well. Constructing a building here. Yes, Bonnie, this is wool blend, and that's super important for this project. It's just the right um, thickness, I guess, for the project. All right. It's going to be cute. Ugh, all the other projects just look so adorable, too. That... For some reason, that ice cream cone shop, that just is so neat. And those beach houses are just adorable. That would be a cute gift for someone who lives um, near a beach or who likes visiting the beach or something. That would be cute. All those summer ones, I like those. And a little schoolhouse. I'm reading um, all the Anna Green Gables books, and that little schoolhouse just reminded me of, of that. Look at these cute little, even these little felt bobbers, you, we could just keep those little shavings for something because they're not going to fray or anything. You could just glue this as a decorative piece onto something. So I don't know. I'm wary even uh, getting rid of them. <laughs> All right. So that's the tower. So I can pull this off now. I might as well just leave it though. Um, I'll just leave it attached for now. So this is the tower, tower piece. Look at adorable. It's going to have all those little, all those little windows in there. Okay, um, now let's get that other piece on. Actually, this does kind of have a different look on both sides. Um, I'm going to try and stick to the same side. Oh, I don't know if I did that. I can cut it out on this side like this. Okay, uh, let's see. Clock, clock house is the best way to get this. I think maybe right here. It's a little uh, wrinkly, but I think that will be fine. All right, just fusing this template down again. Let's trim that, and uh, gosh, actually, that's probably all the purple we needed. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? So, did get quite a bit extra. Oh, well. It's going to be fun to use. And these are just really pretty colors. I like this burgundy and it, this gold yellow a lot, so... I'm not worried. It'll get used. So sweet. I can't wait to do the embroidery on, on these. It's just going to be fun. All right, so I got two more edges. Let's put this to the side for now. Yeah, so we'll see. Maybe maybe later in the year I will do another one from from here because I think they're just going to be kind of quick and easy and just kind of sweet. Fun to make. All right, here we are. This is the clock house and the tower. So I'm going to set those aside 
Those are our main pieces here, I believe. Okay, you can live over here. What is next? Okay, so now we need the gray felt. So the gray felt has a lot of little pieces to it. So let's get our um, freeze of paper out again here. It's gonna tear. Oh no, burgundy and gold are red skin colors. Well, I was not planning on that. <laughs> All right, um, okay, so for the gray, we have the roof, two arched windows, so here's one. I'm just gonna go one by one down the list. So I'm gonna start with the pedestal. Oh, so that's this. Oh gosh, that's a bigger piece than what I have here. So there's more gray in here than I thought, actually. This whole pedestal. Okay, so let's trace this. And then we'll cut off, cut all those smaller pieces for the pedestal as well. And again, I'm not I'm not going to trace that tab because we only need that for the Peltex. Once we get that far, ooh, this pedestal has a lot of little stitching on. Fun. I won't draw. I'm not going to trace all that stitching. So I'll trace everything onto this um, freezer paper first for for the gray, and then and label it, and then then I'll fuse it to the belt. I like the gray that I that I picked too. I think it's probably pretty similar to the gray in the kit. But I think it's going to look pretty with that burgundy and everything still. Okay, let's let's trace this little door too. Just in case I need it for placement later. And if I do, I could always pull it off of the felt and then trace it and then put it back on. It's not really a, a big deal. Okay, I'm going to label. Pedestal, and then up. Okay, next on the list is the roof. Looks like we're going maybe from biggest to smallest here. So will this fit here, or do I need to cut a new piece? Haha, <laughs> it just fits, perfect. This roof has a lot of really cute pattern on it. So I think, well, actually, this must be the way it works. So we'll actually stitch all of these designs before we fuse the Peltex down on it. So um, I think maybe next week Betts is releasing the stitching instructions. So that'll be just perfect timing, I think. This is kind of the perfect project for in the middle of a needle turn applique because that that's such a big project like what we're doing with this blended sampler too that this is just kind of a nice kind of middle break in between there. All right, roof up. Okay, next up, clock face. Clock face. Clock platform, rooftop. All right, I'm not seeing a clock face. Oh, that's because it's on this page. All right. Clock face. Probably both of these, don't you think? Oh, 
anytime you saw my shopping pictures, yep, I got all this stuff from Joann's. I know Betts has a really nice kit, um, so you can save, <laughs> save the trouble of going to Joann's, I suppose. Uh, but I'm like, I wonder if you can get all the supplies there, because I know not everyone might want to get, um, um, like, want to have to get a kit. They might want to get their own colors or whatever. So I'm like, I'm going to just see if I can get all this stuff at, at Joann's. And you totally can. Okay, that was the clock face. Clock border. Well, okay, so clock face two rectangle windows. Okay, so I guess I gotta make two of these. I'm just keeping on filling in spots on this freezer paper. Do I have to make, no, not two clock faces, just two of these. And again, we're once we fuse it, I'm not going to cut out these inside shapes yet, or any two of these. Probably don't actually need to trace two, because I could probably use the same template, but I kind of want to keep the templates on the felt until I don't need to anymore, so we'll, we'll just trace two. I suppose it doesn't matter. Do I really need to, though? Yeah, we're tracing both. Okay, two arched windows. Around the top. Oh, I'm excited. This is just gonna come together. She had some neat suggestions, too, for um, places you could add embroidery. Like, we could put, like, ivy crawling up. Ooh, that might look really cute. Um, that might be really cute for for the clock tower. It'll look like, like an old school clock tower or something with ivy growing up. We'll have to see. We'll see what... Just the nice bricks look like before deciding if we're gonna add extra. Could add like some fall leaves, like they're blowing around or something. That'd be kind of neat. Okay, and then two round windows. Here's a round window. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be 90s by you all next week, Lisa. Holy guacamole. It got up to the mid 80s again today. Like, they can't, the temperature just can't decide. Like, yesterday it was cooler, like in the lower 70s or 60s, and then it got up to 80, mid 80s again. And ugh, I just never know what to leave the house in. And I'm, I got a I got a raincoat, so I'm carrying that around too. I don't know, it's crazy. Okay, two door bars. What's a door bar? Here we go. Two of these little guys. Wow, there's a lot of gray in this. These this is all gray. Honestly, I could just use this whole piece down as is and cut out the felt. It'd be kind of wasting, but not really a lot. I might just make it easy. Eh, we'll see. Okay, door bar, door bar, and four support pieces. Four support pieces. I had to guess that's what 
these are clock platform, tower platform, rooftop felt. That's only three. Oh, support. Okay, so none of those. Good. All right, so it's four. There is a thing called support. Good. So I need four of those. Oh, that seemed weird. We got it now. These are the cool little curvy pieces, I think at the top of the clock tower. If I had a guess, I'm not positive. Okay, one more will fit in right there. Okay, and that is it for the gray. We did get everything onto this one sheet, and you know what, I think I am gonna just fuse it straight onto here. Let's see if I can do that. So here's, it's just, uh, I guess I can't, because it's a smaller piece of felt. We'll trim them. But like these, I might just all keep together. Use somewhere. I don't have ups and downs on, on or like an arrow to, to tell me what way to go on that, but and I suppose I didn't really need it on this pedestal or anything either, but I don't know, the less I have to think the better. And like the clock face and all that, I mean it's a circle, there's no real up or down. There, I'm just roughly cutting it, um, not by the edge, or not on the edge, just near, because um, we will we will cut it for real. Once we got it on here. These guys right in this corner. All right. These fellers we can probably hide, tuck in somewhere too. All right. Let's just do this whole section together. So we'll continue this tomorrow. Uh, we'll still need to do the black felt and um, the yellow felt in my case. It's the door, it's the brown felt in the instructions what I'm doing. Um, I'm doing mine in a pretty gold color. Here, shape's getting a little goofy down here. Just go here and here. Because <laughs> I'm being a little wasteful here, but it's fine. It's 
not the end of the world. All right, so fusing that. Let's do this pedestal next. This clock tower, or the clock face bit. All right, we are fused, so now we can um, spend some time shredding this out. I don't think I lost any pieces here. I think this is everything. All right, let's just go little by little here, I suppose. And you know what I think? I'm, I'm gonna kind of just trim as I go like this. Trim out little pieces. I straighten my lines a little bit. All right, one little gray piece. So many little pieces. These are those little door, what do they call them? Door bars. All right, cute, oops, geez, I'm, I don't wanna mix up my good pieces and my excess pieces here. Next, yeah, let's get this clock face. So I'm just gonna cut the the outer parts on these. You don't want to cut any of the windows out yet. Moving the fabric, not the scissors. I'm telling you, anytime I cut. Try to cut something nice out. I'm, I'm thinking of that aha moment I had in kindergarten. Um, move the paper, not the scissors. <laughs> this is an epiphany. I think about it every time I cut something out like this. All right, clock face. Let's get this, these other two little circles. I didn't label any of these smaller pieces. I think this is just a circle window. I'm excited to see what her winter, um, winter houses are. Ugh, that means it'll have to be winter outside. That uh, I shouldn't encourage winter to come so quickly, should I? The wool fell is glued onto the Peltex. Not yet. Um, we'll be doing embroidery and all that before fusing it to the felt. I suspect, I don't know for sure, but I suspect it's attached to the, to the felt later um, just to give it some extra support. Cause you know, so we have this tall freestanding object, the, the clock tower. I'm thinking, 
we're going to want as much as much support as we can get. But yeah, not until we, um, not until we embroider and all that, do all that stuff. All right, it's like a little circle window. We're getting there. Ugh, it just does not know what temperature to be outside, that's for sure. Like, I am so warm right now, but it was so chilly yesterday, I just, I just don't know. <laughs> it's hard to plan, hard to dress. All right, let's get this roof cut out. And then I might actually call it an evening here because we got all those other little ones to cut out yet. I might just save those for for tomorrow. This I'm going to cut on, a, on the flat surface. I think it'll be a little bit easier. Get straighter cuts maybe. So with felt, all your edges are going to be exposed. I mean, I think we're going to be stitching over them a little bit, but in a decorative way. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to take careful, long, nice cuts here. Oh, I do not have a box to store these, but I think you're right. I think that's probably a good idea. For now, it's just going to sit on the table here. Um, so I don't think it'll be bothered too much here. But yeah, if we have to put this project to the side for a while for some reason, I'm going to definitely need <laughs> some sort of container for it. All right, last major trim. All right, and then this just this little guy on the side here. So this is a substantial piece of felt here yet. Uh, and that freezer paper doesn't wreck the felt or fabric or anything. It's perfectly fine. All right, that's the roof. Oh, it's going to be cute. Like it's going to be all uh, together like this, I bet. Cute. All right, you guys, I think we'll stop there for the night. I, I will just trim this out, though, because then we don't have to deal with the rest of the gray fabric. So uh, I'll set that to the side. And uh, uh, so here are all our pieces so far. You know, like that's the roof. So here's, here's the tower. So it'll be, you know, something. Along the lines of that, looking all sweet and cute. Oh, look, we're getting a sense of it already. Yay! Okay, it's going to be cute. I'm glad we went with the burgundy um, instead of the yellow. I'm sure the yellow would have been cute too, but uh, I like it. Oh, and then let's throw a clock face on there. Cute! It's going to be pretty sweet. All right. Um, I think I'll just leave everything right here, and we will trim out these final um, few pieces tomorrow. And uh, then we'll be good to go on that. We'll need to do the black and uh, that yellow yet. And then we still have the Peltex pieces. So we'll, this will probably still take the whole time uh, tomorrow yet, but then we'll have all our pieces prepped and ready to stitch when we, when we, um, when it's stitching time, I think next week. So, all right, I'm going to flip you guys around and we'll call it an evening here. All right, everyone. Thank you again for joining me here uh, for this fun new project. So again, if you did, if you were thinking about participating, uh, click the link in my post below here uh, for Betz's to link to the Betz White's Betz 
white, um, the Lil Felt Village make along, and uh, we'll be doing this one for sure. And who knows, maybe we'll do another one uh, as well. You get all 12, you get all the ones that they've released so far, and then there'll be more released for the rest of the, the year. So there'll be 12 total. So you'll have like this whole little cute village that you can set up somewhere. I think it's just gonna be fun. So, all right, you guys, thank you again. I'll get this up on YouTube at Penguin and Fish Movies, and we'll uh, hopefully finish cutting all these out tomorrow. Have a great evening. Good night.